Among small cars, few demand respect like the Toyota Corolla. It's been a perennial favorite for decades among frugal shoppers and first-time buyers. It's been sold as a two-door rear-drive coupe, a four-door front-drive sedan, and most recently as a hatchback. And now, like everything else in the world, Toyota is uplifting and crossing over with the new Corolla Cross. We are live at Toyota's massive headquarters in Plano, Texas. And as you can hear, there's a little bit of noise behind us. It's kind of like an auto show atmosphere here. They are showing many different cars and just one of them, and probably the most important I would say, is this, the new Corolla Cross. The Corolla Cross slots into Toyota's crossover lineup alongside the CHR and the RAV4, but it looks much more like the latter than the former. This is a very tough looking front end, despite this being a small car. These are vaguely RAV4, ish headlights but the grille looks like something ripped straight from the tacoma it's round it's strong it's in your face and that's the kind of thing that small car buyers want now if we go around to the side of the car this is an attractive thing you get an idea of the size and it really does kind of slot into the lineup well it doesn't seem as small and cutesy as a chr but the footprint is definitely more manageable than in a rav4 like so many of Toyota's new products, the Corolla Cross rides atop the Toyota New Global Architecture. Specifically, this is the TNGA C platform, which is shared with the Corolla sedan and the Prius. There is a two liter engine producing 169 horsepower and a continuously variable transmission that sends power either to the front wheels or to an optional all wheel drive system shared with the base version of the RAV4. Shockingly, the Corolla Cross's cabin is pretty much a clone of the Corolla. I know. Color me surprised. That's not a bad thing though. You get some nice materials. This injected molded foam is pretty good. Same up here. This is a little bit cheap, a little bit scratchy plastic. Uh, you get some interesting colors on this top end model though. I, I, I like the, the beige and this kind of tannish ebony combination. It's really good. There's some nice contrast stitching. Overall, this is a nice place to sit. Because it's the top end model, you get an eight inch display and what looks to be about a seven inch display in the instrument cluster that takes the place of most of the physical gauges. I have a nice big all digital speedometer, which is pretty good. Overall, this is a nice place to spend time. It's plenty roomy too. I'm in my seating position right now. I have a good amount of headroom, great amount of leg room. It's a little bit tight in back, but you know what? This is a small car and that is kind of to be expected. It definitely seems competitive for the class though. Toyota's decision to put the Corolla on stilts makes a fair amount of sense. It gives them another vehicle in their crossover quiver but we still don't know a lot about this. We don't have anything on pricing yet. We don't have fuel economy information, which we expect to be broadly similar to the Corolla since they have the same powertrain. But what we do know is that a hybrid model is coming, which will probably mirror the Corolla hybrid sedan. That will be really exciting because it will give this compact crossover seriously impressive fuel economy. For much more on the Corolla Cross, check out MotorOne.com and be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and wherever else you get your social media.